Hey everyone, in this video you're going to learn all you need to know about doing cuts, fills and using the boolean modifier in Blender. So let's get started. First off, I'm going to click A on my keyboard to delete everything in my scene. Then I'm going to click Shift A to go to meshes and add our monkey model to our scene. With our model added, I'm going to go to modifiers, add modifier and add a subdivision surface. Put the level viewport on two, click on apply and with it applied. I'm just going to right click and shade it smooth to make it look at a bit more better for our video. Next up, I'm going to add our secondary model. And this is going to be the model that we use for our Boolean. And in this case, I'm going to use a cube, but you could use anything else that you want. And I'm going to move our cube a bit out of the bay and put it more right here, because this is the part of our main model that I want to delete. So I can select my main uh, uh, mesh again, go to modifiers, add modifier. And here I can add the Boolean modifier to our object. Now, what we have to do next is tell our Boolean uh, modifier, which object we want to use, we can simply select it. And we can immediately see something happening here, but we can't see it clearly yet. But before I show it, I just want to explain a few things. We have three options. Difference means uh, that Boolean will remove a part of our main model by using an object, in this case, our cube. Union means that Blender will combine these two. And as you can see, it's starting to look a bit weird and it's getting a lot of uh, vertices added here. Intersect means that we can basically keep everything within our object and remove anything outside of it. But in our case, we want to use difference. And with that selected, we can click on apply and move our cube out of the way. We can now see that part of our main model uh, or main object got deleted. And that's really all you need to know about Boolean right now. So I'm going to select these two, delete them and click Shift A, Mesh and Cylinder to add a cylinder to our scene. Next up, I'm going to click Tab on my keyboard to go into Edit Mode. And here I'm going to select our Loop Cut to add a loop cut to our model. If you hover over your model, you will see yellow lines appear. And this is basically where you can add loop cuts to your object. In my case, I simply want to add one cut right here and go to the bottom left and it, uh, add more number of cuts by putting this on any number that I see fit. In this case, four. Once that's done, we can basically go back to our move tool. And here um, we can now decide if we want to cut this object or if we want to do anything else with it. But before we uh, separate these parts, I just want to show you one more thing. Because if you go to your loop cut, hold the mouse, you can offset edge loop cut. And what this means is, let's say we basically have an edge loop selected and I can select the edge loop by holding Alt and clicking on a loop area. I can go back to my loop cut, offset edge loop cut, and I can click here and I can um, move my mouse by holding my left mouse and add two additional loop cuts simply by using the one I had selected. And this way you can add more controlled loop cuts to your model. Okay, now that we have added this, what we want to do next is click one on our keyboard, click tab and hold the Z mouse button to go into wireframe mode. This way I can see the whole model and select the back side. Now I'm going to select one on my keyboard Click B and select the area. Excuse me. I'm going to click B on my keyboard, then select the area that I wanted to separate and click P. And with P, we can basically separate by selection material loose parts. In this case, we want to do a separation by selection. And then I'm going to go back into my perspective view, click tab, hold set, and go into solid view. Now you might have seen just a few things happening uh, while I was switching. Don't mind those. That's just me doing automated on autopilot stuff. But that's basically how we can separate an object. So let's do it one more time. I'm going to click one on my keyboard, click tab and hold the Z mouse button. Go into edit uh, mode, hold B, select the part that I want to separate, select P by selection and go back into solid view once again, and we can now move 
our model into three different parts. Okay, now that we know how to do loop cuts, let's remove these and let's click Shift A on our keyboard, add a cube. And with our cube added, what we want to do is use the knife tool. We can either click on K on our keyboard for the knife, uh, uh, knife cuts, or we can go here and select knife. And with our knife cut, we can basically cut our model any way in, or in any shape that we want. So I can basically just start here and cut a part in my model and click enter. I can also just say, okay, I just want to do a cut from here or here, and that's fine too. Maybe we want to just go from outside of our screen and add a cut in a certain perspective. That's also possible. So this gives you the option to really do cuts in a specific way that you see fit for your model. We also have the bisect tool. With our bisect tool, we can select uh, any part of our model. It could be a face, it could be an edge, uh, or it could be, be, be a vertice. But in this case, I'm just gonna select the face. Once the face is selected, we can hold the mouse left mouse button down and we can add a bisect line to our model and we can move it around after it has been added. And this allows us to add additional cuts on certain parts of our model in a really controlled and precise way. Okay, uh, with all these cuts added, um, how do we basically delete them? Well, I'm gonna select one of the faces, gonna delete, uh, click delete on my keyboard and then select faces. And with these selected, I can do the following. I can click two on my keyboard, select two faces. And if you want, you can hold Alt uh, and left click to select all of the faces of that area. This is only possible if they are connected. Uh, so if you sometimes if you use a boolean or a bevel, excuse me, if you use a bevel, um, it might not work. Or if you have really weird cuts, it might not work. Uh, for example, right here that we, we can see that if we click um, Alt and left mouse, we can't really select everything uh, because the cuts here are not really clean as it should be. But for now, this works. I can click Alt, left mouse button, and I can click Alt F to fill it up. And this will add a, uh, two triangles to my scene. Now, what I could also do is just click F and this will add one face. You will usually want to use uh, F uh, if you know what you're doing. So let's say you have a face um, and it's really clean. You don't have additional vertices. You can simply use F on your keyboard. But if you don't, then just use Alt F on your keyboard and that works just fine too. Okay. Um, but what if we have a more complex shape? Let's add a cylinder to our model. And we now have an end on here and we can delete this face. We could of course just click F on our keyboard, but this really doesn't look right because we know that we have a part here that is really not fit for game engines and not really the correct way of having a clean model. So I'm just gonna undo this. We could do an Alt F here and add a fill that really does work. But this, once again, doesn't give us much options when it comes to uh, modeling and having a clean topology. So I'm just gonna undo this again. We could add a grid fill. And a grid fill adds a really clean fill to our model, which gives us a ton more options when it comes to uh, modeling and doing stuff uh, with this surface in the future. All right, that's all you really need to know about doing cuts and fills, and doing fills in a, in a proper way in Blender. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you want to see more. Talk to you soon, cheers.